I recently posted a tweet about talking to driving examiners on Twitter and I thought I'd use a video just to clarify a few issues uh, that were raised uh, due to my uh, tweet. Now, as you all are aware, taking a driving test can be a little bit nerve-wracking. So the examiners will try and get you relaxed by having an informal chat with you. Now, usually they would say something like, what would you normally be doing at this time of the day if you were not taking a driving test? And they use that as an icebreaker. Now, obviously, uh, you can uh, respond and uh, relax a little bit and have a chat with them. But what you've got to realize is that the examiner is testing your ability to drive a car and to drive it safely according to their standards. Therefore, it is very important that you do not get carried away chatting to the examiner, especially if you happen to find something uh, that both of you like in common. So it might be uh, for some of the guys, football, or maybe cycling, or whatever it is. Or if it was a lady, they might be into fashion or something like that. Now, don't get carried away during your chat. You need to make sure that you concentrate on your driving. It is very easy to make a mistake when you're chatting at the same time because you're not paying full attention to what's happening on the roads ahead. I'll give you a, a typical example. I remember uh, being on a driving test with one of my candidates who was Greek and uh, the examiner who uh, was testing him happened to be married to a Greek woman. So somehow uh, during their uh, informal chat, they got to uh, talking about Greece and before you knew it, they were really engrossed in chatting about uh, the island and all the other things, the sun. And they were doing this for about 15, 20 minutes uh, of the test. Now, unfortunately for my candidate, uh, he came to a meeting position where there was a car coming towards him. The road was a bit narrow, cars parked on the left and the right. And unfortunately, he didn't realize early enough that the car approaching was approaching very fast and was not, uh, was not going to slow down to actually measure the space to see if it was uh, big enough. So unfortunately for them, the two cars, their mirrors uh, hit during uh, the driving test. Uh, the examiner told uh, my student to stop. He obviously stopped, but the other car didn't stop. Uh, the examiner checked our car. Our car was okay. And he told him to drive on. Now, obviously, they continued with their uh, conversation. And at the end of the day, when they got back to the test, the examiner said, unfortunately, you have not passed because you should have uh, seen that car coming. And if you were, sh were not sure there was enough space, you should have waited, allowed him to go through. And then uh, you uh, can then continue with the journey. Now, I'm sure if they had not been totally engrossed with their chat, the student will probably have noticed the car coming, giving way to him, and he would be uh, have, have passed at that time. So it's very important. Don't get carried away. Obviously, you can answer uh, any question you ask with a one-liner, or if you don't want to be rude, you can just say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't really drive very well when I'm talking, and that will be the end of it. You must make sure that you concentrate on your driving. You can chat with the examiner once he tells you at the end that you've passed. Don't get the wrong idea that because the examiner is chatting to you, that therefore you are doing okay and you are not doing anything wrong. The examiner will chat to you if you chat to them. So make sure that you concentrate on your driving. Just because they are talking to you doesn't mean that you are not making mistakes or that you haven't even made a serious mistake. So keep your concentration on your driving if you get carried away and you make a mistake it might be a, a very simple mistake but just because you are not paying attention remember it takes time and experience for you to be able to drive safely and talk at the same time all the best